This is the end of the beginning. The beginning of the end. Yo, if Rick Toffin dies in Black Ops 4, you can catch me crying. <laughs> Oh, did I say cry? I must have mispronounced being an alpha male at the top of human evolution. But today we are asking the question, what if, what if Black Ops 4 is the final game for this Treyarch storyline, for the original Treyarch storyline? <laughs> I'm not crying. But don't get me wrong, there's nothing to say that this is gonna happen. It's a huge what if. But, but what isn't a big if is if you should subscribe to me. That's a big ass yes right there. Yes from me. Yes from you. So click that. So yeah, in Treyarch Zombies we blew up the Earth, and the storyline still continued. It didn't end at Origins, it didn't end at Revelations, lads, it's continuing. However, with this year it's now 10 years old. The storyline Treyarch Zombies is 10 years, and I get it that sometimes the storyline has its little sections, right? You might say that from Knocked on Totem to Buried was its own brackets, right? I think that's how the director of Zombies has said it, and then even like Mob of the Dead or Origins to Revelations is also its own thing, but it's still part of the Treyarch storyline that we know and love. What I'm just gonna say is, whenever, if ever, this storyline ends, I'll never be, I'll never be ready for the end, lads. Even if the ending is all nice, right? Even if my man Rick Toffin, he gets his dream and he has nose reduction, reduction surgery so his nose isn't so big anymore, like, I still won't be happy. Now, once again, there's no hints or information out there saying that this is gonna be the end, because in fact, they have said that, you know, Black Ops 4 is gonna continue the new story and the old story, but we'll we'll get to the new story in a second. And also, another point to also counter my argument here is, in an interview, one of the many interviews, I, I don't know which one it is, lads, around Zombies Chronicles, like a year ago, Jason Blundell did so many interviews, I'm not gonna rummage through all of them to find it, but somewhere he said that he wrote the Black Ops 3 storyline. When, when he took over Zombies in Black Ops 2, he wrote the storyline so that he could continue it for as many games as possible. He literally said that himself. However, I wouldn't put it past Blundell and the other guy, the main story writer, to be like, yeah, we should just end it. We should just wrap it up, right? You, things have to come to an end at some point. And, you know, if this new storyline in Black Ops 4, if, if the fans like it, if we can get behind this completely new storyline, and we like the characters, we like what's being told, and it's very popular, then, then yeah, yeah. And also, that's the other thing. We have a new storyline, Black Ops 4 somehow is looking like it's gonna have four multiplayer maps, two for the new storyline, completely new story, two for the old story, continuing it, maybe uh, Blood of the Dead and a nuke town. So how are they doing this? Four maps, are Treyarch, are Treyarch gods? Yes. That's, that's not even a question, yes they are. And then also, you know, the rumors that DLCs are gonna have two zombies maps, one for each storyline. Kind of crazy. And also, another idea I have in my head, this video was just me thinking of stuff and just spewing it out into a video. This is outstanding. The other thing is, you know, you might argue this new storyline might be Treyarch saying that they want to do something new. They want to evolve. However, another part of my brain is saying, what happens if this new storyline is just something they wanted to tell? And maybe it's just Black Ops 4 and they're continuing the old story because they want to continue that for games to come. But Black Ops 4 is just going to have this... This, this new story, you know, with the new characters. Do I know their names? Probably not. Probably not. I'll have to do my homework. So at the end of every Zombies game of Treyarch, we've always said this is the end. We've always thought this is the end, you know. We thought, well, you know, going into Black Ops 1, we didn't know if there would be zombies. In Moon, at the end of Black Ops 1, we blew up the Earth. In Black Ops 2, we thought that Zombies was just a game played by the kids. And Black Ops 3, we thought everything was just a loop that continues. But it always comes back. They always continue the storyline. But this time things might be different, just that little bit, because once again, we're 10 years old. Well, I'm, I'm more than 10 years old, you probably are too, but the storyline is 10 years old. And you know, it kind of looks like they are, they could be pushing to a head, you know. What happens if in this game, if the characters die? What happens if Richtofen sacrifices himself to take out Monty? That's the thing, if Monty gets taken out and there's no one controlling the zombies. If we get rid of all this 115, then are, are the zombies just going to control themselves? Are there still going to be zombies? I don't know. Or maybe maybe Dr. Monty kills Primus and then Victus in Black Ops 5, lads. Black Ops 5 theories right here. 
maybe the transit crew survive, and then it's them versus... No, okay, no. <laughs> let's not, let's not. Jesus Christ, that'd be hell on... Hell in games. But, yeah. I don't know. I just had this idea. I've been thinking about it in my mind, so I wanted to spew it out into a video. But once again... It's Treyarch Zombies. It's going to continue, because if this... OG story ends, just think, well, I've no perka colas no Pack-A-Punch, no Ray Gun, because that's all stuff from the original storyline. Imagine that all just ending. I don't know if Treyarch would do that. Then again, this is Blundell we're on about. My man's crazy. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's that. I think I've got everything I wanted to say and just put it out there. So, guys, stay spicy, stay saucy. Not too spicy, because then I can't consume you. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. End the video, lad. So, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>